Hello guys, welcome back. As you can see, we're going to finally open the Christmas Furby. Now, as you can see, it's a limited edition. It does not have a name like Santa Furby or anything. Those are names that sellers made. And a lot of the Furby collecting community does go buy it. Now, what I did that would avoid the value for a lot of collectors is I did have to cut the tape that closed the box on top prior to uh, starting this video. So I'm going to open up the tabs on the top. There are two um, uh, tabs of the same material of the box on the top of the box. And you can see the poem on the back. And we can read the poem later or if you ever want to hear the poem, um, just let me know in the comments section below. And box opens relatively easily. Okay, let's turn her back around. Let me come back to the camera, make sure she's still in focus. Okay, good. Well, this could be a he or she. You never find out with Furbies until you, um... Uh, go ahead and, um... Okay, she is... She or he is firmly in the box. So I'm going to also disassemble the bottom of the box. And we're going to open the box that way. So, we're going to get to see a box disassembled from the bottom. And you can see, actually, the Furby boxes were so well made, the Furby is now upside down. And the Furby is quite safe. The Furby is quite safe in there. Um, Furby's not going to fall out. Furby's not being damaged in any way. So I'm taking a tab off on the bottom. And I'm filling around to see if there's any more um, tape. And there is tape on the one side. And there's tape on the other side. And there was tape um, not only to ke help keep the box closed in transport, transport, but also because um, Furbies were really popular at the time. And as you can imagine, you'd go in a store and you'd find an empty Furby box. Yeah. You find an empty Furby box, and uh, people would walk out of a store with a Furby tucked under their jacket because they are relatively small creatures, and I'm going to try to be careful as I slice here so I don't slice me and so I don't damage the box. And of course, we don't want to hurt Furby, so. I should have most of the tape. Okay, I think I have all the tape. Let's make sure I have all the tabs. Yeah, it's been a couple of decades since I've opened one of these boxes, so I did forget how protective these boxes were. Okay. Now, let's turn the box on its side. The tab is undone. Let's undo this tab. And this should just pop right off. Good. Okay, guys, we got a lot of stuff inside, so let's see what we got inside. Uh, let me just camera. We got the Furby Special Edition Furbish in English Dictionary. And this is much bigger than the other uh, Furbish and English dictionaries were. And you can see um, the Furbish dictionaries were bigger back then. Had more phrases. Have a um, little Furby insert there. And have a um, special edition limited edition instruction manual so we'll keep those and of course more tape on the inside and we have a lot of stickum so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video right now and once i have furby completely out then we will continue the video okay 
guys, uh, Santa Furby does not yet have, or Christmas Holiday Limited Edition Furby, whichever you want to say, does not yet have any batteries in, uh, but it's out of the box. And uh, let's take a look at our young friend here. Uh, you can note the details, the, the uh, pure white ears and the um, red fur and the white fur. Now remember that this has been in the box ever since that the um, Furby was produced, so this is as the fur would have looked like. Uh, one manufacturer, we see that they have the um, details here with the black feet and the white eyelids with the white eyelashes, the uh, yellowish orange beak with the um, little red mouth, and we have the uh, nice blue eyes, and we have the Furby uh, stocking, uh, Christmas stocking cap with the nice detail of the feet on the back that you can move around. And there is a detail here of a uh, Furby hang tag, a limited edition hang tag. Let me make sure that you are uh, seeing that. Okay. And you can see that there is also if you turn the Furby to the side, there is a uh, limited edition hang tag with the uh, same exact poem that is on the back of the box. So you would have that. And uh, Santa Furby has a uh, white mane or ruff down the back like the um, other Furbies of the same era did. They had, like a lot of them had the uh, nice fur going down the back. And you can, of course, you could have arranged it however you wanted. So that can be arranged. And what I will do is open the battery compartment and we will get some batteries in our front. And I will get you a little close up here. See how close we can get in. And get, yeah, let you see some of those details. Look how nice those eyelashes look and look how nice that beak looks. And I just, I really like the attention to detail on some of these things, like the um, little Furby hat. And um, they were just really nice uh, items that if you had not yet got a Furby, or you wanted to treat someone to a Christmas edition, they were really nice. And um, really nice um, details with a Christmas edition of our Fun Pals. So let me pause the video again and I'll go ahead and get my screwdriver set and I will get that battery compartment open and we will see what kind of magic we can Okay work. guys, welcome back. I had to use some WD-40 and a slotted screwdriver to get the um, uh, battery pack open. And as you can see on this limited edition Furby, there are two batteries here and two batteries here and this swings closed. Now I wanted a way to put the last battery in. Now this Furby may very well not work. It was sold as mint in box. It was not sold as a working Furby. And I did have to open this Furby. So we have no promises here. So let's see, we have the batteries in. Furby does not seem to be waking up here. Okay. Let's Go ahead and I'm going to drop Furby off camera first, just a second. And go ahead and close this battery pack. Give Furby a couple seconds to wake up. And there is, if you can see it, a reset switch on the bottom. And we're going to try hitting that with a pen for a couple seconds and see if Furby wakes up. And if Furby doesn't, we still have a very cool Furby here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's make sure we actually hit it. So it looked like I was just hitting the, make sure I have this on camera. Okay. Okay. 
Everything should be on. Everything should be ready to go. Okay, Santa Furby. You ready to wake up, sweetie? Okay, it looks like Santa Furby is just going to stay Santa Furby. But that's okay. Uh, Santa Furby is still going to look very sweet. And um, that's quite alright. After almost 30 years in a box or close to it, uh, that's quite alright. This was not sold as guaranteed working Furby. This was sold as a collectible in a box. It's a shame that uh, she or he does not work. But that just means that I could get in there and tinker around. These are fresh batteries. I will, of course, take out the batteries. And I will, of course, tinker around. But um, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will, of course, tinker around. Santa Furby may wake up in a little bit. Uh, it has been 30 years, and this Furby was never activated. So it could be that the um, system just needs a little time to wake up. And I will get back to you guys later. Bye-bye.